One of the reasons why people go from bikes to trikes isn't just for the added stability, but also for this new sense of comfort. One way that people get this type of comfort is through additional active suspension, something to soak up the bumps while you're riding on the trail. All of these suspension trikes achieve their comfort through different methods, and a lot of people want to know what the best type of suspension is. So today, I'm going to break down all the different types of suspension on all of our trikes so that you can find out which one is best for you and your ride. So let's get right into the video. Having suspension on a trike can greatly enhance the riding experience, offering numerous benefits related to comfort and performance. Some may wonder though if suspension is really necessary on a trike. In this video, we'll explain some of the pros and cons of having suspension on your trike and some of the suspension alternatives that are available. Have you ever ridden on a trike without suspension and felt like you could feel every bump in the road? Suspension systems absorb shocks and vibrations from uneven terrain, providing a smoother ride. This is particularly beneficial on rough roads, gravel paths, or trails. If you frequently ride on these terrains, suspension can significantly enhance comfort and control by absorbing heavy bumps and vibrations. Long rides and touring often involve a variety of surfaces from smooth highways to bumpy back roads. Due to this long distance, riders usually start to notice more and more bumps the farther they travel. The longer you're on your trike and the more tired your body gets, the more you're going to feel each bump out on the road. If you were going on a short ride, bumps may not matter so much, but the longer you ride is the more you're going to feel it. This is where suspension can provide longevity with a more comfortable ride. For long distance touring, front suspension's usual purpose is to reduce rider fatigue by minimizing the impact of road vibrations, making extended rides more comfortable. This allows riders to stay out longer and be able to ride farther without becoming exhausted. Where front suspension covers the riding fatigue of your trip by minimizing vibrations to your hands, the rear suspension is what makes the ride more comfortable by absorbing the larger bumps that jostle you in your seat. If you're going over curbs or off-roading, the rear suspension is going to be your best friend. Besides providing comfort for long rides, sometimes a smooth ride is the only way someone can get out on the road safely. Certain health concerns may be another reason that riders may want to consider suspension. Many customers have come in who have had intense back and neck surgeries, needing a trike that can support them and not give a rough ride so they aren't in intense pain when they hit the road. And this is another great application of suspension. Now that we know why suspension might be good for you, what options are there for suspension on our trikes? There are many different suspension types spanning all price ranges and styles. So let's go through the different types of suspension, the trikes that have them, and what each type of suspension is great for. The first kind of suspension that is important to mention is elastomers. This type of suspension is traditionally found on the front of a trike. They are a simple style of suspension composed of a compound rubber that specializes in absorbing vibrations and providing some give for minimizing bumps. This suspension is great for road riding without much need to compensate for large impacts like you would find off road riding. Just enough to keep your hands comfortable and soak up any small bumps in the road or when going over curbs. There are two trikes that feature the suspension type. The first being the Cat Trike Dumont. The Dumont is primarily a comfort road touring trike. So the elastomers in the front make a lot of sense to help reduce riding fatigue and keep your riding longer. The next trike that uses elastomers are all the ice brands of trikes and not just in the front either. You can find elastomers in both the front and rear. Much like the Dumont, the majority of ice models are made for road riding and that's where the elastomers can shine, especially in the front. Where it gets more interesting with the ice is with the rear suspension. Elastomers are usually the most simple form of suspension, but ICE has found a way to engineer their rear elastomers to be a lot more adjustable and complex. In the rear, you can adjust how many elastomers you use, the hardness of your elastomers, and where they are positioned on the rear axle. This allows you to get a fine-tuned suspension that works perfectly for whatever kind of ride you're planning to do, while being easy to tune and replace if needed. The second type of suspension is coilover shocks. This is the one you're probably the most familiar with. This type of suspension is best for absorbing big sudden bumps, like you'll find off-roading or on bumpy trails. The spring design is less for vibration absorption and more about having lots of travel to soak up big bumps. This type of suspension is usually found on the rear of the trike behind the seat. 
The Sunseeker Fat Tad CXS is a great off-roading trike with a large coil shock suspension in the rear to take care of any bumps off-road. Azub trikes and the HP Scorpion have this type of suspension as well, making them great for road and light off-roading, and it's no wonder why these are often touted as the trikes with the best suspension. With this coil shock soaking up all the bumps that would be going to your seat, there's hardly anything that can disrupt your ride. Then there's a more unique option on the Catrack Dumont. For its rear suspension, it has a very similar mechanism with a rear air shock. This suspension option does the exact same work as the standard coils, but is entirely internal and much easier to adjust for the type of ride that you want and your weight. The Dumont coming stock with an upgraded suspension option like this is one of the many things we love about this model but it's not the only model that can have an air shock. One of the great things about coilover shocks is their ease of customization. Every trike we just mentioned before in this section can be upgraded to have an air shock replacing the coilover. So if you're looking for an off-road oriented trike to handle rough rides, you may want to prioritize a coilover shock suspension. This third type of suspension is often overlooked. It's featured on every single trike that we carry and is one of the most customizable too. This suspension type is your tires. Every trike has them, but every tire is different. And depending on the type and size of your tire, this will determine how much suspension you are getting. Wider tires usually equal more suspension and a softer ride. We can compare the standard Schwalbe Marathon Racer tires with the Schwalbe Big Apple tires. These Big Apples are two inches wide instead of the Racer's 1.5. And even with that half an inch difference, you will get a much smoother ride and a lot more shock absorption just from the tires. Great trikes with this type of suspension are really anything with bigger tires, but some examples would be the Fat Tad CXS, the Ice Full Fat, and the Azub Fatty. This is demonstrated the best on the Full Fat. A trike that only has rear suspension, but with its specifically engineered rims and large 26 by four tires, this is one of the most comfortable trikes that we carry. To get the most out of your tires suspension wise, you'll want to have as low of PSI as you can in the tires. This gives more space for them to absorb any bumps or vibrations. One thing to keep in mind is that with lower tire pressure also means more friction. It's harder to accelerate and your tires can wear down faster. Although not as impressive as active suspension, tires are a great way to improve your comfort and make your ride even more enjoyable without breaking the bank. The last suspension type is pretty broad, but all of these options are so unique that it's hard to fit them into their own group but what they all have in common is that they are all front suspension. First in this category is the front suspension on the Fat Tad CXS. This is a standard spring suspension, but what makes it unique is that it is fully integrated into the front spindles. It's notoriously difficult to get front spring suspension on a trike, so having this integrated is perfect for the off-road rider who needs the travel of spring suspension all around their trike. Of course, up next, we have the front suspension on the HP Scorpion. You can always trust HP to go over the top, and they totally did for this front suspension. On the Scorpion, you won't just find rubber elastomers, but also springs integrated into the front spindles. The HP Scorpion uses both types of suspension to give you great vibration absorption to prevent riding fatigue and great front suspension travel all at the same time. And lastly, the most unique of the bunch, the front suspension on the Azub Tiefly. Unlike anything on the other trikes is the TieFly's titanium leaf suspension. This is a lot like the suspension you would find on a car. This setup works because of a flexible and super strong titanium rigging that spans across the front arms in front of the seat. Titanium is great for this suspension position because of its naturally more vibration absorbent properties. And with its flexible nature, when you hit big bumps or any potholes in the road, the titanium will flex and bend, taking the edge off of all those rough obstacles. The TieFly's above and beyond suspension is often glorified as the best suspension on a trike, and I can't say I disagree. It's a great suspension option that is smooth and easily adaptable to many situations. And that's all the different kinds of suspension that our trikes have. A suspension trike for almost every occasion, whether you're looking for a smoother road ride with elastomers on the ice trikes or the cat trike Dumont, or a trike better suited for off-roading like the CXS and the ice full fat as well as anything in between with so many different levels of suspension. All in all, where you're riding and how much comfort you need are the driving forces that determine what kind of suspension you will want, if any at all. The biggest thing to remember is that the better the suspension, the more comfortable it usually is. So if you're looking for the best suspension out there, you're likely going to be looking at the trikes from Azub, HP, or Ice. 
And the best way to find out what you're going to need is to visit us in person at Utah Trikes in Springville, Utah, and give some of our trikes a test ride. We have tons of trikes built up and ready to test ride free of charge. So you can get a feel for every type of suspension and what works best for you. Because one thing I notice is that people like to overcompensate and just jump for suspension when they really don't need it. Suspension is the best way to make your trike more comfortable, but for short paved road riding, you usually don't need it. And that's why testing a trike can be so great. It gives you real experience with what you'll be purchasing. Hopefully this video helps you learn more about the many different kinds of suspension that we carry. There's a lot of different combinations, so having them laid out can help. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to stay up to date with all things trikes and never miss any trike updates, hit the little bell below and be notified of all of our uploads. With that, remember to relax, spin fast, and ride trikes. I'll see you guys next time. Yes. <sighs> but what makes it unique is that it is fully integrated into the front spindles. <laughs> Redo all that. You ruined it. <laughs> Titanium is great for this suspension position because of its naturally more vibrant a oop up oop up eep. <laughs> You're not passing gas, you got back pain. <laughs>